Hello YouTube, this is Shiva Sapkota here with another Tesla video. Today we're going to be talking about Tesla's full self-driving. That topic has been in the news recently because Elon said that the FSD price is going to go up by $1,000 starting July 1st. It is at $7,000 now and it's going to be $8,000. So I wanted to make this video to show you what the basic autopilot does and what extra features that you get with the full self-driving. And my goal is for you to be the judge of whatever fits your needs, then you can make your decision if you wanted to purchase the FSD or if basic autopilot is enough for you. With that said, uh, if you would like to support my channel and watch more of my videos, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. So let's get going. So I wanted to discuss the different autopilot packages before we do a demo of each of them. So right now I have the autopilot, enhanced autopilot, which is discontinued. It used to be an autopilot feature if you purchase your car before 2019 and uh, of course the full self-driving. So the current cost, autopilot is zero dollars, enhanced autopilot used to cost five thousand dollars and the full self-driving is seven thousand dollars. Cost to upgrade, so if you have the complimentary autopilot in your car then it costs you seven thousand dollars to upgrade to FSD versus if you have an enhanced autopilot it costs you four thousand dollars to upgrade to FSD on present day. This seven thousand dollars is going up to eight thousand dollars starting July 1st. So with the basic autopilot, the complementary autopilot, you just get the auto steer and traffic over cruise control. With enhanced autopilot, you actually get quite a lot of features, including navigate and autopilot, all the way up to smart summon. This is the last feature that was um, that's provided for enhanced autopilot users. And then there is the traffic control, uh, traffic and stop sign control, which is only included in full self-driving. And ultimately, your car will be able to drive on city streets, which is only included in full self-driving. If you have an enhanced autopilot, uh, and if you have a basic autopilot with hardware 2, and if you need to upgrade to hardware 3, um, I will provide a link below for a video that I made on my experience on upgrading hardware 3. So with that, let's jump into the demo. So this is the auto park. How it works is you can drive by and when Tesla finds a parking spot that can park, the P sign comes up on the screen. You tap on the P sign and then you put your stock on reverse and you hit start. And then there you go, the Tesla will park for you. So it is going to park on that very last one by the curb. It is going, it's kind of aligning itself and then it goes through multiple maneuvers trying to kind of fit it perfectly on the lane. So now it is adjusting so that it can be straight. And it's pretty straight. And now it's just going to reverse and fit on that parking spot. Now let's try that exact same parking spot again with auto park. And just be aware that it doesn't, it is very selective on where it finds that parking space. So like in the middle of highway, it shows sometimes that there's a parking space. And there are so many places where you would think that it would find that space and, and it doesn't. So it fails on that sense that it's very selective on when it finds that parking space for it to park. And this time around, even though it was the exact same sp spot, it took a lot many maneuvers for this auto park to complete. So it went through multiple adjustments before it was able to fully park, uh, even though, as I said, exact same spot I tried. To start the smart summon, you go to summon, tap on a smart summon, 
and then this pops up and you just do your target and then hit go to target and then it says preparing to summon and then you just release your uh, the button uh, to stop in its current form uh, the smart summon gets confused a lot it does not recognize any parking lanes or stop sign or anything like that it drives on whatever side of the road causes a lot of traffic jam on a busy parking lot so it is only good for an empty parking lot at this point I have tried to it to work on many different places and really failed other than in an empty parking lot at this point uh, the feature is promising but it's not there yet look at how it stops for the fake dog <laughs> So this is the demonstration of just the basic summon for Tesla. It is not the smart summon, just the basic summon where it goes front and back to get you out of tight spaces and garages. So let's see how it does. So it press on front. It moves very slowly towards the front. I stop. Now I can do reverse. When I do reverse, there's no one in the driver's seat. It's gonna go back. This really helps get you out of tight spaces. And uh, if there's you know, two big cars parked right next to you, and you don't feel comfortable or you don't fit, this is, I have used this multiple times actually to get out of tight spaces and it has worked great. So forward and backward, that's all it does with the basic summit. I just wanted to demonstrate the lane departure avoidant assist feature um, that comes with all Tesla cars now so like regardless if you have autopilot or FSD it comes with it and what it does is a really good safety feature let's say you are in the lane and you are distracted if you're falling asleep and you start drifting away from the lane so like I'm gonna try to go onto that lane without putting the blinker sign so if I do that it corrects me and it puts me back on the lane. As you saw, like for a brief moment, there was the blue dots over here. So if I try to go this side, it corrected me and it brought me back to my lane because it is it is keeping me in the lane regardless. If I were to give a blinker, then it, it knows that I'm trying to make a lane change, so it wouldn't do that. So let's try that one more time over here in the lane. I'm gonna try to go over here, but nope, it brings me back to my lane. So that is a really good feature. So we're in autopilot. This is with no FSD features. So this is without the driving visualization and there's going to be a stoplight coming over here. Normally with the, the FSD, it would tell you that it's gonna stop at a stop sign, but with the, the basic autopilot, it doesn't. And even though there's a stoplight over there, it didn't see over here. So it, it doesn't have that full self-driving visualization with the basic autopilot. But what you can still do with autopilot, basic autopilot, is you can still drive, it will keep you in the lane, and you can still get it to make the lane change. And it makes the lane change for you. So when we turn off the navigate and autopilot, so this is with the basic autopilot. As you can see, the car is in autopilot, it's keeping you in the lane, this is in the highway, but it is not going to go to your destination. It's not going to exit in 1.9 miles for you because it, that feature requires navigate an autopilot. It will keep going, it will keep staying on the lane, but it will not exit for you. This is the traffic aware cruise control where I have to control the steering wheel, but since this, this, this is only the blue circle over here with 45, but it will stop for that car over there because it is still keeping me you know, keeping up with the traffic, pace of the traffic. So since that car is stopped, it is stopping without me putting, um, pressing on my brake, but I still have to control the steering wheel in this case. So that is the traffic over cruise control. And you get that with basic autopilot as well. So now that car started moving, my car started moving. So there's the traffic uh, sign the traffic, traffic light visualization over here as you can see it is red and that is red that is not included in 
basic autopilot unit FSD for that feature. So as we saw earlier in basic autopilot, it just stays in the lane. I don't have to touch the steering wheel and it goes. What is not included on the basic autopilot is, and only included in the FSD, is the stop sign, so stop light. So stopping for traffic control in 500 feet, there is a traffic light over there and it is going to stop on that red line, even though it's green. So I have to give it a little acceleration boost. So I would have to put, in a, put my feet on the acceleration and it will go. And that is not included on the basic autopilot. But other than that, right now I'm driving over here and it's keeping me in the lane, following the traffic nicely. Uh, it shows all the cars on the side. That is all included on the basic autopilot. You don't need FSD for that. So right over here it says I'm coming lane change. That means it's trying to make a lane change because it thinks that that car in front of me is moving slow. So it's changing the lane. I just have to hold on to the steering wheel. And it put me in this lane because it thought that that car was moving slower. It needed to keep up with the traffic because I bumped my speed to 80. So that is how it does no confirmation lane change where I just hold on to the steering wheel and it made the lane change for me. That is the FSD only feature. You don't get that with basic autopilot. So with Navigate and Autopilot, it should take me to my destination without me having to do anything, um, at least in the highway. That includes interchanges. Now there's going to be an interchange over here. It needs to get me to a different highway, so I-25. We are in I-225, so right over here it says upcoming lane change. Because it needs to get on one of those two lanes over there. onto the steering wheel right here so it changed the lane for me because it is trying to get me to the right lane to make that interchange for me it's gonna be a highway interchange so I come to it it's making a lane change by itself I'm not doing anything I'm gonna decrease the speed a little bit and it's making that lane change for me it is making the interchange for me and this is the FSD only feature you wouldn't get this with the regular autopilot it didn't do anything and this is a completely new highway it is I-25 we moved from I-225 to now I-25 it's gonna try to put me in the right lane for me to able to get to that supercharger that I put a destination earlier. That that traffic is moving fast is making that lane change again. So there you go. To keep up with the traffic for my speed, my the speed that I had chose, because that was gonna be slow. And you again, this is FSD only feature. A lane change on this side. It's an upcoming lane change because in point mi nine miles I'm gonna have to exit. I was trying to make a lane change, but there are cars there, so I'm not gonna let it make a lane change, and it wouldn't. Now it found a clean, clear space and it made that lane change. One more. And it 
did that again without me doing anything. That is what you get with FSD. Now he's gonna exit the highway for me because that supercharger over here in Park Meadows. And in 600, 500 feet, it says that the autopilot is going to end and is going to stop for a it's gonna stop for the traffic light over there. And we're back to the regular autopilot. There is no like a single stride that was going through for navigate an autopilot. So I came from, it did the interchange for me. It made a bunch of lane changes along the way and it exit the highway. And now it is stopped on its own for the stop, stop sign over there. So it's going and I'm gonna have to give a little bit of a acceleration boost and it'll take me over there. Now he's just following the road and we're back to just having regular autopilot at that point. So I hope I was able to demonstrate the difference between basic autopilot and FSD, full self-driving, and um, help you with your decision of whether to purchase full self-driving or not. Uh, with that said, if you enjoyed this video and if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to hit the like button as well as subscribe for more videos in the future. I have a lot of videos coming and I already have a lot of videos in my channel. Thank you again for your support. Thank you for watching my video and I hope that you enjoy your Tesla.